One. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO or Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots Engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. I know you deceive me, now here's a surprise. I know that you have, cause there's magic in my eyes. We've got your calls coming up. I appreciate the callers holding. Some of them were on that I didn't get to in the first hour. Then another guest came on on basically the same topic we're discussing now. Because that's what I'm concerned with, so I just tend to have guests on that can, like, try to get me to expand my understanding of things. And even if you think you know everything, talking to other experts, brainstorming, helps you focus on it and get the answers. So Joel Skousen is our guest. I want to ask him a few quick questions geopolitically, and then I want to start going to your phone calls briefly. Don't forget, this hour is brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. I have storable foods in multiple locations. This is who I get it from. It's high quality, non-GMO, great customer service. Last 20 years in plastic boxes that are easy to move. 866-229-0927, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. I think something's wrong with you if you don't have water filtration and, and, and storable food. And I mean, I mean, even poor people should be able to stockpile something before stuff winds down. And even if it's five years away, 10 years away, I think it's a lot closer than that. Things are just... I mean, the slide is always happening. Things are degrading. You don't want to be caught flat-footed. And also, it's important to support this operation and your own health and yourself. We have the very best supplements with the highest quality ingredients that we could literally find, whether it's our colloidal silver, silver bullet, 
or whether it's a super male vitality, super female vitality that just takes natural herbs that don't mimic testosterone. They just get your glands working again, according to Dr. Group and others. I know it's done wonders for me. Uh, we've got the lung cleanse with uh, scores of essential oils that are organic that are just so good for my throat and lungs. All of it has really been life-changing for myself. You've heard the rave reviews out there, whether it's the a nascent iodine, the X2 that comes from an ancient uh, underground mind source that nobody else has. Just does amazing things for my glands personally. Check out the information behind it at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. You can also find all the great longevity products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine and others uh, at InfoWarsHealth.com. And you can sign up for free auto shipping, uh, sign up for auto shipping and get the shipping free to be technical at InfoWarsHealth.com. And also link through and find the new book uh, by Dr. Joel Wallach, Epigenetics. And all of those purchases also help fund the operation. So InfoWarsHealth.com, InfoWarsLife.com, or call toll-free 888-253-3139. And everything is under one umbrella. The books, the films, the strategic relocation, uh, the Patriot Apparel to meet like-minded people and spread the word about freedom and anti-communism, anti-socialism, uh, pro-Second Amendment, the Molon Lambe, all of it. Made in America right there at MadeIn1776.com or InfoWarsStore.com. You can also subscribe and, and get amazing weekly and, and, and well, news updates sometimes every day at JoelSkousen.com or WorldAffairsBrief.com. It's important to support all the leading brains out there that are not just analyzing what's happening, but then also going out and trying to warn others. So, Joel, I've been asking some of the questions here. There's a lot going on with Russia, China, the dollar, BRICS. Uh, any other points you want to make on that or any other points before we go to phone calls? Yeah, I do, uh, Alex. Uh, let me just cover, there's been a lot of, of hype on the net about uh, BRICS bringing down the dollar uh, with their own $100 billion slush fund for Africa. That's never going to happen. Uh, that's just propaganda. They're not putting $100 billion of their own money into something as long as the West is willing to throw unlimited funds at Africa. It's very interesting that with all of the going to non-dollar transactions that has happened between the BRICS nation, the dollar has not changed hardly an iota on international markets, which shows how small that play is relative to the overall strength of the dollar. And, and part of the strength of the dollar is because all the other currencies are just as weak or weaker. They've all been devaluing. They've all been devaluated. They love dollar devaluate or dollar inflation because they can hide their own inflation under that dollar inflation and keep their uh, level inflation relatively the same as the uh, dollar. But, but well, big things have small beginnings. I mean, down the road, as the dollar's devalued, uh, won't the globalists try to bring out their new digital currency? I don't think any of that happens until war comes, because you've got to have a global new government in order to have a global currency, whether it's digital or real, etc. And so that's one of the things they've got tucked into their war package as soon as war comes, which war will take out most of the computer systems in the U.S. because of EMP and other strikes, and they'll have an excuse then to go to a new currency, but you've got to have a world government to govern it, and right now, you know, they've got to put themselves in charge of the world government so that they can manage that new world currency, which won't be any different than the rest. It'll just be a new beginning and an excuse to manage it on a global level um, Relative to Russia and the Ukraine, um, you know, I appreciate what you said about the many people on our side of the political spectrum, Paul Craig Roberts and others who have mistakenly thought Putin's our hero, Putin's the salvation against our globalist warmongers, and he, he is not. Putin has just as much of a warmongering agenda as our globalist, and so does China. There are three major predator centers in the world, not one. And even though I think the globalists intend to um, give us this war, Russia's going to be eliminated in the long term, and then it's going to be the globalists versus China. Uh, but that's a, a different story. But it's a very important for people who understand the globalist threat not to think that Russia is somehow our savior or fighting against the globalist. Uh, he's all more than willing to let the globalists become the bully of the world to justify China and his strike on the West, 
which is coming, and that's why the probes of the Bear Bombers, which there were 16 of those last month, they're probing our air defense system. It doesn't mean that war is imminent, but it does mean that there's a long-term agenda towards getting ready. As I say, Russia and China won't have their top-of-the-line uh, weapon systems coming online until the beginning of the next decade. That's when I see the war thing loom, and I think they can keep this economy uh, kicking the can down the road till then. And I, I fully view their moderate levels of um, inflation, that is, and I'm saying moderate is below 10 percent, the real inflation rate six to seven to eight percent. But we've lived with that for 20 years. We can continue to adjust to that as long as they keep it below 10 percent. And they will continue to bail out the euro as sure. well during this period. Well, Joel, for me, the big wild card is a human awakening, uh, people repenting. And I don't mean going to a megachurch and being you know, taught name it and claim it mumbo jumbo, but really realizing we're in the hands of, an, uh, of, of, of maniacal wickedness that, that, that just really wants to hurt life and really wants to play God and vandalize God's creation. Just basic evil. Even if people don't believe in God, I mean, you study these people, they are a bunch of devils. And so, and so the devil's real, whether people believe the devils are real or not. These globalists operate like, uh, you know, the mythical creature we've all been told about. And they just really are nasty. They make Loki look like a good guy from Norse mythology. And I want to go to these phone calls. But, but, but I want you to think about this and, and then answer at the end of the show. Because I want you to really mull it over. If there was a big enough uh, coming back, to, you, know, you know, to God, people repenting, seeking God's face, uh, you know, turning from our wicked ways, really realizing how much danger we're in. And I do see a huge awakening happening, but it's not fast enough. And people really got what was going on that we could change things and we could reverse this. Uh, but there does seem to be like a fatalistic, this is the way it's meant to be. The big churches just say, get behind it. It was for, you know, foredained. But then they're not involved politically to fight evil, so they actually ate it. So I, I just, it's, it's a joining with evil. And I use the Lord of the Rings analogy, it's like Sauron saying we must join with Sauron. You know, it's, it's the new age. Well, I don't agree with that at all. I, I can't help it. Answer the question now. You can say more if you want later, but what's your view on that? I mean, there's got to be a way to get a Nineveh-type reprieve, because what happened in the Old Testament happened in the New Testament. And what happened then, historically, repeats again. We go in these cycles. There's got to be a way to get out of this. Well, it's a tough question, Alex, because... I don't think, in fact, that the world is going to repent, even though there is an awakening. It's very real. It's growing on our side. It's growing even faster on the other side. The amount of people corrupted. I mean, even conservative children, Christian children, the percentage that we're losing to the world each year is increasing rather than decreasing. We're not holding our children. And, uh, and that's a lot because of the influence of public schooling. The vaccine requirement, driving people into public schooling, all of this is very, very bad. So I view, and also, you know, I've been in this battle since the early 70s, and I was, uh, I have watched every single major funder of true conservative, libertarian, Christian causes go by the wayside. It's almost like the Lord is not supporting those that would have us win we're barely getting enough support to stay ahead, and, and yet they have tons of money growing on their side. And it isn't that the Lord agrees with them. It isn't the Lord doesn't love what we're doing. I think, though, that he knows that the laws of justice require, because of the majority of wickedness in the world, there's got to be retribution for that. But at the same time, I think he's preparing a remnant to survive. Uh, I think that's why we grow the movement. I've stopped preaching winning the battle. The only winning that I think we can do is winning the hearts and mind of good people. So what I like is the division of society is that the good are getting better in, the, in a smaller minority and the evil are getting worse. And it's the clash of civilizations that, that the Lord, I believe, is going to let, let play out. Well, undoubtedly, when the depression hits, when the war comes, when whatever, it is going to be hell on earth. I mean... If 90% of people were self-sufficient or, or, or were rural, most of them self-sufficient, in the, the Depression and millions starve to death, major university studies show, and that was kind of swept under the rug, if 90% if is now flipped or are, are, are urban, 
And of that, I know you're the big expert on this, correct me if I'm wrong, about half of those are self-sufficient. So 5% are self-sufficient. And I think about my grandparents.